In this video, we're going to talk about how to find linear equations. The first thing we'll need to talk about is the slope formula. The slope is represented by the variable m, and that is found by taking the change in y and dividing that by the change in x. And by that, we mean taking the difference in the y values and dividing by the difference in the x values. So if we are given two ordered pairs, remember that ordered pairs are an x paired with a y value. So each point has an x and y value. To find the slope, m, I'm simply going to go from left to right and subtract those y values, 7 minus 11. And since I'm going left to right for the y values, I must follow that same direction when I subtract the x values, 3 minus negative 2. Now do be careful when you are subtracting a negative number because subtraction of a negative turns into a positive. So we actually have negative 4 in the numerator and positive 5 in the denominator. So the slope of the line that contains these two points is negative 4 fifths. There's another set of ordered pairs. So again, we have x paired with y and another x paired with y. So I start with the y values. The slope will be equal to the difference of those y values divided by the difference of the x values. So again, I'm just working from left to right when I make these subtractions. So negative 2 minus 4 becomes our denominator. When you have subtraction of a negative, that changes to plus. So negative 6 add 4 will give us negative 2 in the numerator. Negative 2 minus 4 gives us negative 6 in the denominator. Whenever it's possible to reduce fractions, we always do that. And with the sign, negative divided by negative will mean we have a positive one-third slope. In our next examples, we're just reminded about what the slope formula is. So I'm taking my y values. Slope is the change in these y values, 5 minus 5, divided by the change in our x values, negative 2 minus 3. This time in the numerator, 5 minus 5 will make 0, and negative 2 minus 3 makes negative 5. Recall from past lessons that 0 divided by a number will equal 0. When the slope is 0, this is a special line, and slope of 0 represents a horizontal line. In example 4, again, we're going to find the slope by taking the change in our y values, 2 minus 0. The change in the x values is 4 minus 4. So the difference in the numerator is 2. 4 minus 4 would be 0. When you have a number divided by 0, that is undefined. On your calculator, it will tell you that it's an error. So we translate that as an undefined slope. And lines that have an undefined slope are vertical lines. So we want to keep these two special cases in mind. 